All right. So, the topic of today's vlog is going to be commuting to work on a motorcycle. What's it like? Well, it's kind of a gamble commuting with the motorcycle because on a motorcycle, you're really limited to what you can carry. For example, I only have one small top bag and I have a backpack and pretty much what I can carry is my lunch, I can carry my vehicle registration in my top bag, I can carry a hat, thank you very much sir, I can carry my bike cover in my backpack, my lunch in my backpack, and a couple of tools in my bag. Um, my commute isn't too far away, it's only about 20 or so minutes, uh, so I can save a lot of time potentially if, uh, if there's ever any traffic. But the thing is, the way where I live and how far my work is away, there's not very much traffic to begin with unless it's, it's really near to my work. And at that point, if I'm late, it's not going to really save me much time. Um, speaking of time, it does take a little bit more time to get ready. And when I get to work, I have to get to work early so that way I can get dressed and everything like that. I mean, it's not a huge deal if you have really short hair and every time you take off your helmet, your hair looks good. Or if your the place that you work doesn't have a dress code or anything like that, then awesome. More power to you. You should, you should commute to work. Um, but in my current situation, it is... It is a little bit inconvenient to, to to ride my motorcycle over to drive a car, or, or driving a car. But I really do love riding my motorcycle. And that's where the scale kind of gets tipped. Because, hey, if you love something, you do it every day. You know? Um, if you love something, you do it every day. And... You don't really think of the penalty, you just change your lifestyle to fit that, to fit what you're passionate about, to go around it, to deal with it. And, you know, motorcycling is like that. Um, if you're inconvenienced by, you know, having to put on a helmet, having to carry your hair care products in your bag, having to, you know, change when you get to work, then, you know, that's fine. Everybody has their own different mentality with, with, with riding and when to ride and what weather to ride in as well. But, you know, it's about taking the good with the bad. Sometimes I drive. Sometimes I ride my motorcycle. Like today, it's a relatively warm day in Southern California. But I haven't ridden my bike in like two weeks. So... Hey, I'm gonna ride my motorcycle. And another reason why I haven't ridden my motorcycle is because the area that I work in is really sketchy. There's a lot of homeless people. There's a lot of a lot of kids with too much time on their hands. There's a lot of people on drugs. And a motorcycle in a parking lot with a top bag on it. I mean it gives a person the opportunity to mess with my bike. Like, of course my bike isn't very pretty or anything like that. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but it's still an opportunity for someone to steal it. Um, or to steal something off of my bike. Like, usually I run a spot GPS messenger right here on my handlebars. And, of course they have a... They have a policy where if you're subscribed to them um, and your spot messenger gets lost or stolen, they'll replace it for you for like 10 bucks or whatever. But still, it's like, it's that inconvenience of having to take it off every single time and having to worry about it when I'm at work doing my job. You know, I don't want to have to have that thought in the back of my head, oh shoot, maybe I should check my 
X, Y, or Z are still on my bike. Or let me check if my bike is still there. Let me check this or that. Because honestly, when you're at work, you should be working. You shouldn't be worrying about other things. And I know that's kind of a idealistic thing to say because, hey, we're all people, our minds tend to wander. This is the great thing about riding a motorcycle to work. Watch this. Wow, isn't that amazing? Welcome to California. Like, this is where you do save time, where the speed limit is like 65, and people are going like 50, but then again, it's not advisable to be splitting that fast, as fast as I was, but look at this, look at this traffic, you have two people, or you have two lanes, two lanes of traffic, both going the same speed, and it's just kind of a mess, you know, it can really slow you down, but if you have a motorcycle, you can just split that. And it really depends on your commute, because some people are like, hey, I don't want to commute like that, I don't want to, I just want to sit in my cage, and I just want to listen to NPR, and, you know, just get to work, and then work, and then just listen to NPR on the way back, and then go home. And you know, motorcycling gives me a lot of joy, and it kind of breaks up the monotony in my life. And what, anyways, it kind of brings it breaks up the monotony in my life. And it's really fun. It's something I'm super passionate about. But it's not for everyone. It takes a certain mentality to to want to ride every day to work and to want to go get groceries on a motorcycle because a motorcycle is really inconvenient if you're wearing all the gear all the time. Or even if you're just trying to get a gallon of milk from the grocery store, it's really difficult. But, once again, that's a life choice, that's up to you, you know. Um, you live the life the way that you want to, and I live my life the way that I want to. But, you know, that's just kind of my two cents about it. Okay, some of the great things about riding a motorcycle is, one... Just like you saw, you can lane split in California, where I live. You can filter. You can get rid of some traffic and save yourself some time. Um, two, I'm getting like 60 miles to the gallon on this little bike. And depending on what kind of bike you get, you're going to at least like, you're going to get like 50% more miles per gallon than, you know, what you would be doing in a car. Like, typically when I drive, I drive a little SUV or a little Volkswagen Golf. And if I'm driving my Golf, the gas mileage on this is two times better than on my, in my Golf. And three times better than when I'm driving my SUV. And honestly, that saves me a ton of money in the long run. Because nickels and dimes, if you're saving them, they can turn into dollars really quickly. And I don't make a lot of money. You know... I don't make a ton of money. Actually, I'm probably in like the lower, lower middle class in the United States of America. And, you know, I'll take any, I'll take any savings that I can get. Especially if I'm having fun doing it. Because life is short and I'd rather be spending my money and my time doing the things that I love, you know. And I hope you feel the same way if you're watching this. Some of the really bad things about riding a motorcycle to work every day is you can't really shut your mind off when you're riding a motorcycle. You always have to be paying attention to what's around you um, because you got to remember if you're commuting, you're doing, you're sharing the road with people who are also commuting, who are tired, they're thinking about other things, they're, you know, coming home from a hard day at work, and they're not paying attention. So the likelihood of you getting into an accident is is pretty high. But I mean, for me, it's worth it because I love doing it. And it's worth it to me because I paid a lot of money for this little bike. And I paid a lot of money for this bike and I'm definitely going to use it. 
because what what good is it if I buy something and it doesn't bring me joy? It doesn't bring me happiness because I don't use it. You know, what kind of position does that put me in? You know, it puts me in the position of, oh man, I really regret buying that thing. And that's a totally different vlog on why I chose the bike that I chose, why I bought it new, and you know, purchasing your first motorcycle and stuff like that. We'll we'll get we'll get into that in a, in a different vlog. But you know. Back to the cons. It, uh, like I said, I work in a pretty shady area, um, and it's not it's not the safest spot to park a motorcycle at night, especially um, or late afternoon or evening, because it's dark and you can't see your bike if you look out the window. But I mean, this is just my situation. Um, this is just my situation, and that's why I don't ride as often as I should. That's why I get lazy and I drive my car, because, you know, it would suck to go through the hassle of like, hey, man, my my registration and my insurance got stolen off my bike because, you know, someone wanted my top bag, or, you know, some of you guys are going to say, why don't you just take everything with you? And once again, that goes back to inconvenience, you know? I, I want to I wanna do things the quick and easiest way, and motorcycles are definitely quick. As you can see, like, look at that. Just filtering this. Filtering this. It's like, no big deal, you know? But the convenience factor and the fun factor, and it all has to balance out. You have balance. Because people don't see you on motorcycle, when you're on a motorcycle and people don't pay attention and you do have to worry about things like what your bike is what your, if your bike is still in the parking lot or not but anyways I'm almost to work I don't want to show you where I work because hey I gotta I gotta live my life privately um, but yeah I guys I hope you guys enjoyed my vlog there on on uh, my little two cents on riding a motorcycle to work um, it is a lot of fun, but it, it takes a certain kind of person to do it. Anyways, thanks for watching, because really, no one's watching. Have a good day.